We've been talking about weight loss drugs, and I'm kind of wrapping it up by telling you today what I think is the biggest hazard of the new weight loss drugs. So we've talked about Ozempic face, Ozempic breast, Ozempic butt, and even Ozempic brain, which I think are serious problems. But here's the absolute biggest thing I'm concerned about right now, Ozempic sarcopenia, which means muscle loss. So sarcopenia is muscle loss. And here's what this article said. Concern has arisen about the proportion of weight loss, approximately 30 to 50%, that is lost of loss of beneficial lean body mass versus fat. Now lean body mass would have some other things besides muscle in there, but muscle is the most significant part. In fact, here's a 68 week trial. Look at the heading of the article. Weight loss drugs can lead to muscle loss too. Is that a bad thing? What do you think? It's a horrible thing, and I'll show you why. Here's a study. Now, they lost 38 pounds in this 68-week trial, which is horrible. 38 pounds in 68 weeks? I mean, our patients do that in a few months. And 23 pounds of that 38 was fat. Where was the rest of it? 15 pounds of lean muscle lost. So that's a bad thing. Another article, and this is a medical doctor talking. Here's what uh, she said. The bottom line is if you're going to success, uh, if you're successful with weight loss, it's a normal process that you're gonna lose some lean mass. But with the popular popularity of the GLP-1 medications, people are hearing this for the first time and saying, oh my gosh, 30% of the weight loss is muscle mass? That is horrible. And it is horrible. A study from 2021 on Wegovi found that about 40% of the weight people lost was lean mass, including muscle. So muscle is the biggest thing. And this is the reason that people get sarcopenia or get to ozempic face because they lose muscle in their face, and ozempic breast because they lose their pectoralis major and they lose their gluteus maximus and their butt sags, so zimpic butt. Now, where have we heard of, of uh, significant problems with people losing muscle before? Any of you see this show? Yeah. The Biggest Loser, and they lost some significant muscle, and they had some good data, so it was pretty incredible to look at it. So I went back and reviewed it again, and what they found was that 13 of 14 regained their weight, four were heavier than before, and here's a biggie, almost all of them slowed their metabolism by 400 to 800 calories per day six years later. That's just, that's just terrible. Now we do bioimpedance testing in our office, and uh, we have monitored patients' weight loss, fat loss, and muscle loss, and our patients just don't lose much muscle at all because we do it the right way. Now, if you're gonna burn calories every day, you wanna do that. Our weight loss is determined by how much we're eating, taking in, and how much we're burning up going out. Well, what makes up calories being burned out well, exercise does. So if you exercise, you burn calories. If you walk to the car, if you walk to the mailbox, activities of daily living burn calories. But the biggest burner of calories is your resting energy expenditure. The calories you burn just by being alive. And what is the biggest factor in that one? Your muscle. That's why we've got to maintain that muscle. When we do our testing, we can see their lean body mass, and that lean body mass determines your basal metabolic rate, how many calories you burn per day, and you want to burn a lot of calories per day. So we need to keep that skeletal muscle mass up. The higher that is, the better. Now, if you went on one of these weight loss drugs and lost 100 pounds, and let's just say 40 of that was muscle, what does that mean? It means your resting 
calorie burn went down significantly because a pound of fat can burn up to 10 calories per day. So 40 pounds of fat, uh, of, I'm sorry, a pound of muscle can burn up to 40 pounds or 40 calories per day. So if you had 40 pounds of muscle loss, you can be burning 400 calories less per day, which makes it an awful lot harder to maintain your weight. Now on The Biggest Loser Show, what did they find? Muscle loss contributed to a drop in their metabolic rate from 2,600 to 1,900 calories per day. So almost 600 calories a day less that they're burning because they have lost that muscle. So here's an article. They think they've, they've got a clue on what the solution is going to be. Losing muscle with GLP-1. There may be a drug for that. And yes, they're going down the wrong road. So Christy went on the Seven Systems Plan and lost 50 pounds in six months and maintained her muscle mass. And that makes it an awful lot easier to maintain your weight loss when you do that. And could I have you come up for a second? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to put you on the spot, Kelly. So Kelly was on the Seven Systems Plan and did a great job. How much weight did you lose, Kelly? 65 pounds and he has maintained his weight loss and is looking great now that's what happens when you lose weight correctly thank you very much for, for coming up we have lots of people that have stories like that so here's your options you can go on the weight loss drugs lose 30 to 40 percent of the weight as muscle or you can go on the seven systems plan and lose very little. In fact, we have people that gain muscle while they're on the Seven Systems Plan. Be sure and hit the like and share button after you see this video.